Welcome to this edition of Healthline. I'm Dr. Kevin Soden. Hattie Dickerson was in trouble, heading to the ER several times without a diagnosis. Her symptoms? A rash, tightening throat, and soaring blood pressure. The ultimate cause was found to be acute chemical sensitivity. In fact, the condition changed her life so much that a shopping trip could trigger a medical crisis. Most of us never gave a trip to the mall a second thought. But for Hattie Dickerson, it can turn into a life-threatening situation. Within 20 minutes of being in there, I started swelling and itching, started having difficulty uh, breathing. I reached for my EpiPen and dropped it. And that was the first time I realized that how serious this was, that when I'm out and about by myself, I got to be able to give myself that EpiPen. Hattie's trouble all started at work with a rash on her arm, and then the unexpected happened. I decided to leave and go to back to the nurse's desk. Before I could get there, I collapsed, and a patient had to go and get the staff. Hattie carefully documented her outbreaks, but the reason for them remained a mystery. I went through an anger phase because um, you don't understand, and you can't get anyone else to understand what you're going through. Uh, when I was working, my employer would say, tell me exactly what it is that you're allergic to. It turns out that Hattie was allergic to the chemicals used to clean and wax the floors. They're cleaning, they're stripping the floors, they're waxing the floors, they're putting sealant on the floors. You don't realize it's all these chemicals that's in the environment. Over a long period of time, your skin is absorbing it. And I guess um, in July 2004, I guess my body just couldn't hold any more. Hattie's chemical sensitivity increased. Most cleaning supplies, pesticides, and perfumes could trigger severe reactions. Not only her workplace, but even malls and stores posed a threat. It's depressing when you've been so active uh, in doing things and socializing. You can't do that for fear that you may not make it out. At the end of her rope, Hattie sought the treatment of Dr. Susan Tanner at the Spherios Clinic in Atlanta, Georgia. I made an appointment and came to her office, and I finally found people that understood what I was going through, and that was such a relief. She had ongoing exposures to several chemicals in her workplace, and that built in her system. Her body's ability to clear those chemicals and their byproducts became impaired over time just because of the amount of exposure. We sometimes compare the body to a rain barrel in that over time a lot of things fill this barrel. It can be illness, it can be exposures, pollution, chemicals, infections, medications, and over time as that barrel fills eventually it can't take on anymore so it starts springing leaks. And that's what happens with the human body when it has finally reached its threshold. And our job is to, is to reduce the load in the rain barrel. The detoxification of chemicals in Hattie's body is a multi-step process. One of the ways of getting them out is through what we call heat deparation, in which they're put into a dry or far infrared sauna. And we do controlled sweats on these patients. It's the only way to get the load down out of the fat tissue. The treatment seemed to have helped Hattie's condition. Although she still has allergic reactions, they are less frequent and less severe. The treatment itself has helped quite a bit and that I'm not afraid to go out as much as I was. Feeling a little more at ease at that, but I still know that I have to be a little bit more careful than what I used to. It's been hard. It's still hard. And my nightmare is not over. I'm accepting it better. And knowing the source of her medical problems has given Hattie the strength to battle her disease. By the grace of God and the help of Dr. Tanner, I've been able to survive this and get through it. Hattie still wants to return to work, but for right now, it's too risky. We often don't think about chemical exposure, but consider how many chemicals you have in your home right now. What products do you use to clean? Do you use an air freshener? And what about pesticides? Joining us to talk more about chemical irritants and injuries is Dr. Grace Zeem, medical doctor in private practice in Maryland. Dr. Zeem, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Hattie had many chemical irritations, and there are many chemicals all around us all the time. How do we know when we have a chemical irritation versus some other cause for our illness? 
Well, a person uh, who develops a condition at the workplace will often notice increased symptoms at work initially and then better away from work. And when that pattern occurs, they need to find out what they're exposed to right away so that they don't become disabled like Hattie did. And that's pretty easy when you have that kind of pattern. But what about when it's in the home and you've got all these chemicals in our homes every day? When it's in the home, it's more insidious, and a person who spends a lot of time in the home uh, can be, become more, more chronically ill, respiratory symptoms, fatigue, aching, uh, difficulty with brain function, and have no idea that it's because they're exposed to chemicals. When we come back, find out what dangers may be lurking in your home and what alternatives you can use to save your health. Healthline will be right back. Welcome back to Healthline. I'm Dr. Kevin Soden. We all use chemicals in our homes, things like pesticides or cleaning products, but could those modern day conveniences actually impair our health? We're talking with Dr. Grace Zeem, private practitioner in Maryland. Dr. Zeem, how susceptible are seniors to these kinds of chemicals? Well, seniors can have more susceptibility uh, or anyone who spends more time in the home because uh, in an indoor environment, there's a chemical mixture, and these have a multiplied effect, not just an additive effect. Uh, some people have impaired sense of smell with age or with respiratory conditions and be, be less uh, able to, to uh, detect the chemical uh, presence. Uh, some people have impaired ability to heal. That's more common with seniors, but people who have other illnesses also have that. Am I more likely to develop this as I get older because my immune system is going downhill, so to speak? The immune system can actually, parts of it can be activated so that autoimmune disease develops and autoimmune diseases become very common. Mm -hmm. uh, other biochemical changes can occur and so these neurodegenerative diseases can develop like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and ALS uh, and multiple sclerosis. Those are all becoming much more common and chemical exposure increases the risk of all of those illnesses. So what organs do get affected uh, by a lot of these chemicals? The brain, uh, because chemicals go right from the nose to the brain. They don't have to uh, go through the lungs. Uh, and of course the whole respiratory tract, the sinuses, uh, are common uh, chronic sinus problems with kids' ears. How do we know we're having a chemical reaction and it's affecting our brain or it's affecting our sinuses when there's so many other things out there that could be causing this, you know, viral infection or, or we're not even sure what may be causing our dementia or Alzheimer's? Well, with a viral infection, uh, it's gone within a week or two. 